Oh, Ed. Ed! Oh, shh. What happened? Ed, I'm blind. What were we drinking? You're not blind. You're sleeping face down. And stop shouting. Oh, my head. Oh. <laughs> That's why I don't drink. Oh, oh, it's terrible. But I feel better now. Here, finish this. It will help a bit. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Okay, while you're recovering, let's go back to the conversation we had yesterday. I do know where that fuel is, and it's not even that far. In an underground submarine base. The tunnels are half flooded, but still accessible. The entrance is in the Naval HQ building. Radiation's off the charts there, though. So I wouldn't even try without a protective suit. This building used to be a fire department, and I know they had some suits in case of an accident with one of the subs. Now the place is overrun by bandits, so it's not going to be a walk in the park, I guess. Think you can handle it? Okay. I guess some fresh air will do me good. I'll go get those suits. Thank you, Sam. I'll be getting ready here, too. Oh, you should take the stairs. Down there and through the door. Oh, I almost forgot. While going downstairs, could you reload the traps? The mutants do visit this place from time to time. I'll try to, Ed. There is one Molotov left. Take it. There are many dead bandits on the lower floors. They should have the materials for more if you need any. Sam here. One trap rearmed. around. Yeah. <laughs> 
Not bad. This is a real prize. Open sesame! Nice. Ah, I got the second one. Three left. Third trap armed. Two left. Freaks around. Не дурна. Just one trap left now. Skidica.
Ed, it's Sam again. Sogotovo. All traps rearmed. Spasiva, Sam. You're a savior. Pajalosta, Ed. Well, it's even easier than I could have hoped. The captain's ready to help, and the nuclear fuel's not far from here. In an underground submarine base, obviously. The radiation levels there are about as high as Novosibirsk, though. So, I'll need to borrow a couple of protective suits from the local fire depot stores. Scratch one mine. you? He, my so-called brother. He couldn't get me to give up, so he sends a hitman. I'm no hitman. You, you're not? Well, 
Sorry for jumping to conclusion. It's my brother's fault. I wouldn't put it past him. It's because of him I'm hiding in this dump, eating overgrown lice. Oh, shut up, you damn beast! Can't wait to be roasted! Shut up! Piece of shit! Just like that brother of mine. He wants to take my car dealership. Well, my share in it. Car dealership? The Kovshinov brothers. Right to drive. What? Haven't you heard of it? You must be new in town. Everybody knows us. We deal in used cars from Japan. Quality ones. We started from scratch, against all odds. But once we get the business going, that bastard decided to fuck me over. I arrived at the office one day, and there's a new guard. And he won't let me in. He took all I had. Some brother he is. Angela, our accountant, was right. I should never have trusted him. Never. He brought it all down. Destroyed it all. Um... But the war. Ah, who cares? My brother fucked me over. Don't you see? <laughs> but I have a plan. You need to get inside our dealership. Get the incorporation documents from the safe box and bring them to me. Then I'll have proof. I'm not going to let him die a beggar, of course. He's a brother, after all. I'm not like him. But I will pull his poison teeth out. I will! Will you help me? You just need to get that bastard, my brother, to spill his half of the code. We only knew half each to show it was our joint effort. We were stupid. I was stupid. Only Angela knew the whole code. Get his half of the code. Open the safe box and bring me the documents. You will do it, won't you? Look, my half of the code is this. One, two... Three, four. Huh. What? Ah, no matter. Go, go now. I will wait for you here. Oh, we'll show that bastard. We'll show him. Now you'll see. Oh, now you'll see. You will. <laughs> the dealership is mine. Mine alone. Yes? No? He'll see he shouldn't have fucked his only brother over.
beasts. and I took a good look at you. You are smart, level-headed. We need people like you. Still, you're new here and you don't know much. So we decided to talk to you. Just give you something to think about at leisure. I'm fine with thinking. So what do you got? Look, there's Cat, our top boss. I think you know what kind of a man he is already. There's also Clean. You're working directly under. So you know him even better. Having any of those two as your enemy is bad news. They don't just bury people that cross them. They do it so that the poor bastards have enough time to remember and to curse all their relatives for bringing them into this world. Yeah, it's nice to be on their side. You're right there. <laughs> the thing is, the guys have been thinking. While these two are together, we're golden. But what happens if they have a falling out? We don't have any say in anything, of course. But once one of them comes out on top, he's going to count everyone who didn't support him as enemies. Which means they're screwed. So, you understand that people like us must know which side to end up on when shit hits the fan. So, which one? As if anyone could tell. <laughs> All this is just... speculation. But since you put it this way, I think anyone with a good head on his shoulders would be able to take a look and see which way the wind is blowing and whom to back when push comes to shove. I see. Much appreciated. You've really got my noggin joggin. This is a real prize.
who the hell are you? Name's Sam. I'm working for Tom. Ah, I know you. I saw you there. So, you are second American, huh? Ah, I heard you were supposed to be around. Well, come here. We'll show you what's what. We aren't gold scouts for nothing after all. So, first of all, beware of the bat wing roaming about. We haven't seen it, just heard it. And judging by its shouts, it's huge and angry as hell. And probably it's wounded. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Next, where did you need to go? To the fire depot. You can see it from here. The red building with the tower. It's about half a click from here as the crow flies. Right. But you don't look like a crow. It's close. But it's gonna be hard to get there. <laughs> yeah, crows have it easy in these parts. Look, that unfinished building from before the war. You need to go through it. That's the only way to the upper bog where the fire depot is right now. There's a gang that set up shop there, though. They used to do some slave trade. But lately they switched to the latest thing and started catching those human-like mutants. Can you imagine that? We've been at odds with them since forever. And anyway... They never like strangers. They're sure to open fire as soon as they see you. Don't expect a warning. So, try to remain unseen. Thank you. I will. What else have we got here? Ah, here. Look this way now. See that two-story tower-like building on that islet? It used to be a police post before the war. Now it's taken over by a gang too. Complete mad lads. Though they're busy catching the fuglies now like the others. That business is on the rise over here, you know? What they have there is a warehouse of sorts, so there should be some good loot there. <laughs> that little islet supposedly houses a cache of sorts. A few years back, a new gang appeared in this town. Those were some crazy bastards, but they were good. They went and demanded tributes from gangs thrice their numbers and murdered everyone who didn't pay up. They had training, spitznats like. They also had gear. Like in the movies, armor, guns, each of them had night vision too. <laughs> they had a good run, ended up controlling a huge swath of the ruins, even with their numbers. Then the other gangs decided they had enough, got together and smashed them completely. So all that remains of them today are their caches marked by their sign, a skull wearing night vision goggles. So watch out for those. Why? I bet all those places were looted long ago. I wouldn't be so sure. Those guys were real show-offs. Each of their caches is like a puzzle box. The chosen ones in the know are supposed to get it, while random Joes like us are not. Huh. The boys did find hidden buttons opening doors a couple of times, but all through sheer luck, they never got the principle. Perhaps you'll get it after looking at the situation with your unbiased American eye. <laughs> I might. You forgot the fuglies. Ah, yes. Watch out on that islet with the cash. The Fuglies are especially large and tough there. I've no idea why and I don't care. But these large ones are in demand, so the hunters don't clear them out. They just catch a couple from time to time and leave the rest to repopulate. Got it. So that's about it. We've been told to observe and render assistance if needed. We told you what we know. That should count. Thanks, guys. Good luck. See ya!
This is nice. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. Stay safe.
gotta find another way.
could use this. Sam, my people at the far outpost are reporting there's a storm coming in, so you should find shelter. Thanks, Tom. I will. Good luck, Sam. Are you talking to me? Well, duh! I'm telling you that my brother is totally cuckoo! He thinks I want to take over his share of our business. We own a car dealership, right to drive, used Nipponese cars, best quality. We built a booming business from scratch and then he went mad. We even shared one code to our safe box. He knows half, I know half. We used to be proud of that. Sure, our accountant Angela knew both halves. Otherwise, we both always had to stay at office. But we trusted each other. Do you understand? And then the asshole kicked me out and took my half of the business, reducing me to eating these rats. Shut the fuck up! Not only that, he also went off his rock. Says it's me who's taking over, not him. Can you believe that? I want to bring him back to his senses. I want someone to find out his half of the code, sneak into the dealership, take the papers from the safe box and bring them to me. So that I could show him who's listed as the owner there and prove it was him who kicked me out, not the other way around. Maybe that could bring his sanity back. Listen, it's very complicated. Listen. My half of code is one, two, three, four. You guys are something. Just learn his half of the code and get me those papers from the safe box. I'll make it worth your while. We'll see who's really insane. You'll just have to admit it. Where are the documents? You have them already, no? He won't wheeze a lot of truth this time. Soon all will see the kind of brother he is, that bastard. Go get the documents from that safe box. Then his mask is coming off. writing all that shit all over the place. Well, he's wrong. He's got a heart of storm. I don't have a brother. He's a monster.
of use. Use that. Sesame. Ah, here are the documents the brothers asked for. One flimsy lock. Now we'll see. Oh, they must be fixed already, just like you wanted. Now, read what's written there, and don't try to fool me. All right, all right. Uh, aha! You see? Sole proprietor. Wait a minute. But why? Tupina Angela Ivanovna. Damn! So it was Angela who kicked us both out. That snake! That bitch! How could she? To think I hated my brother because of her! Brother! Brother! Forgive me, brother! You forgive me? How could I treat you like that? I was no better. I believe that! I should have known, I should have! She told me lies about you! I should have known! It's all in the past, now it's going to be alright! We will rebuild! 
Oh, we'll bring <laughs> it all back, brother. From scratch, like back then. I guess brother, I'll be going. I have a brother again. <laughs> <laughs> Me too! Like I always had! To think I doubted you! I'm sorry! <laughs> no matter! Everything will be just fine! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we'll go back to importing cars from Japan! Best quality! Oh, brother! <laughs> Brother! <laughs>